Hi everybody, uh, it is our 34th day together of our journey to awesome and coming to you with a really important message today about manifesting and kind of why we took this journey to get to this point. Uh, also coming to you uh, after kind of a little bit of a rocky tough start of the day. I struggled uh, finding gratitude, I struggled granting any degree of uh, forgiveness, I uh, struggled with just kind of having some uh, heaviness and darkness, but uh, uh, got past it, got over it, got uh, fully functioning and uh, spent a little extra time in meditation that really helped and uh, drive that away. So the message about manifesting is so important to know why we're here at this point of the 40-day journey. And it wasn't until really recently that I was able to kind of articulate this and, and to understand this because if we attempted to manifest before now, what would happen is a lot of the baggage that we were carrying around in our emotional composition would come out and that manifestation wouldn't work or worse yet, it would kind of go awry. So what has to happen is we have to have that gratitude practice to open up our heart. We have to be forgiving to take the jadedness out of our heart uh, and our emotions. We have to have that giving it to allow space to be open, to be non-judgmental. We have to have all of those pieces in play. Even the fun and the laughter have to be there so that you can approach it with a open flow kind of nature like you would when you're laughing and, and, and having fun. So all of those pieces have to come into play plus getting rid of confronting and or releasing those fears. And those become really, really powerful pieces that lead us to manifestation. Let me give you an example. It wasn't that horribly long ago. Uh, I wanted it to uh, uh, kind of change a relational, uh, relationship dynamic with somebody. And I, I, I gotta tell you, the, when I manifested it, I manifested all the wrong things. I manifested all the contingent plans. I manifested all the, you know, what if scenarios. I managed all of the fail safes and managed all of the uh, uh, predicting negative outcomes. And somehow I thought that was manifesting what I wanted, but it was nowhere close. And the reason for that was I didn't have my gratitude practice, my forgiveness, my meditation was a little out of whack, my giving. I didn't have those in order and didn't have those solid to move into a really powerful manifestation. Think about that in another example. You know, you, you manifest that you want a certain job or a certain promotion and you say you want it, but yet, you know, because of some baggage you're carrying around for lack of forgiveness, because of some lack of gratitude that you're carrying around, uh, you have a little edge to you, maybe in the interview process, and it doesn't go your way. Well, the reason the manifestation didn't work is because, not because the manifestation was wrong, but you didn't have the dominoes lined up to pull it off right. And everything that we've worked on and talked about until this moment in time really is about getting those lined up and in the right place. And, you know, it's almost like, and I heard this the other day, and it's really powerful, and I'll probably go back to it in another day here, but it's manifestation cannot be about the absence of something bad. It can't be, oh, well, I'm manifesting today that, you know, nobody barked at me or nobody yelled at me or, you know, nothing bad happened. Well, that's not the right place for manifestation. Manifestation has to be in the form of solid, solid, good outcome clearly defined good outcome, positive outcome that you're looking for, that you desire, that you want. It really has to be positive. And until you get all those other pieces in line, any form of manifestation is just plain and simply and very bluntly not going to work for you. Uh, I'm going to have a challenge here in a minute, but I hope you're working on still uh, identifying, conquering, releasing your fears. Hope you have those other dominoes lined up nicely. And here's our challenge for today. I want you in your journal to note the one thing, one thing that you'd like to manifest right now. It's a powerful time of the uh, uh, day, powerful time of the month, powerful time of the year to construct a manifestation. So let's do it now and let's do it together. Identify that one thing that you really want. Tomorrow, we're going to work on making that a reality and how you bring that to being uh, in your meditation and in all of your practices. 
So have a great rest of the evening, everybody, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow and get that one thing noted in the right framework.